Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Her. Keeping it real. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven, and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. Just another mashup. That's right, it's Mashup Monday, and on this day I go on YouTube, try to find some of the best mashups that are out there, and then present them to you guys. Now, <clears throat> it must have been a dream or something like that, because I felt like this video was actually suggested to me by the person who made the video, which in my, in my eyes, that's great, because it's a Bill McClintock video. I had a dream uh, when this song first came out, um, his version, uh, that he had put it in my suggestions. And um, um, I just think it was a dream, and I just think it came up on my recommendations, not as far as you know him saying like, hey, now that you did this one. Because it came right after I had done a mashup Monday, and then all of a sudden Martin Luther King Day happened, I had to do that, and then here we are the week afterwards. So, um, this is a Bill McClintock video, and it's called Sprayer Crazy Black Magic. Now, when you look at the thumbnail, uh, the guy's dressed like Prince. I don't know who the face of it is, uh, but and the hair, but the guy's dressed like Prince. Uh, so, I'm wondering if, uh, I'm, I'm sure Prince is part of this song, but I don't know who else might be in this. I don't look it up, because I want to be surprised. Just like you guys. Um, if you like videos like this or some of the other, you know, hundreds of videos that I've shown on my channel, I'm sure there's something out there for everybody. Uh, please don't forget to hit the uh, like button, the subscribe button, or the notification button because I am doing at least 15 videos each and every week. So, um, again, I don't know what to expect. But I cannot wait to hear this because Bill McClintock never um, disappoints. So, without any further ado, here is Bill McClintock's Sprayer. And here we go.
you didn't disappoint again. If anything, I was very appreciative, number one, because it's my boy Prince. If nobody ever noticed, look behind me. That's Prince. That's a Prince clock, and that's a Prince uh, tambourine with, you know, the symbol on it. I might have I love Prince. I love him. So uh, to incorporate Prince was pretty cool. Um, and <clears throat> using Let's Go Crazy, that's a pretty upbeat type of song. Pretty upbeat, happy, let's go crazy kind of thing. You wouldn't think it would go with it. Now I know who the other one is, is Slayer. Um, you know, I didn't grow up listening to Slayer, so I have no idea. Even, even as many times as I see them, I'm like, oh, but the Slayer dude was wearing his own shirt so it's almost like that what's that movie you're gonna wear this shirt of the concert that you oh i know i know what that goes to it goes to pcu <laughs> don't be that dude don't be that dude but i guess if you're in the band you can wear your own shirt um what i was trying to gather and you know if he sees this video maybe he could tell me um where was he getting the let's go crazy from because it wasn't from purple rain now the song is from purple rain soundtrack but the version that he had wasn't from purple rain it sounded a little bit more um antiseptic like it had been cleaned up number one uh the videos that we're using uh came in the 90s because the from the very beginning as far as prince was concerned trust me i know my prince i do i i, I really do know my prince uh with the videos uh you saw him with the new power generation and let's go crazy is with the with the revolution not the new power generation so that's fine if he's performing it later on and that's probably where he's getting the particular let's go crazy from from when he started doing it later on. Um, yeah, when he was a new power generation, and most definitely. Um, I really have nothing really bad to say about that. It's probably like I should listen to some more Slayer by itself, not always as a mashup. I think if I heard a real Slayer song right now, I wouldn't know what it is, because it's like, oh, that kind of sounds like that mashup that I did. Um, but, you know, that, that's about it right now. Um, Slayer just wasn't in the group of people that I was around. So it just wasn't one of those things like, hey, dude, I got the new Slayer cassette. Yes, they would have said cassette. Because nobody walks around with albums when you're on the bus or when you're on school or whatever. But everybody had a tape deck, whether it be this small or, or like a Walkman, a tape deck, or a boombox. You know that they walked around with nobody walked around with records um so that's what would have happened like hey dude gotta listen to this cassette man or put on the orange ears of a of a walkman headset you know something like that so uh if you're still here i thank you very much for staying tuned i really do appreciate that um you don't know how much i am over the 1000 on my way to 2000 slowly but surely but we're only in the month of january so i'm not sweating it well i'm kind of sweating it because i'm wearing my hoodie and i'm inside but i'm not sweating the numbers we'll get there one way or another so um i just need your help to get there all you need to do is like subscribe share and comment peace